What's up, you guys? My name is Cyrus Nolov, and welcome to my Umbrella Academy parody reaction. Also, uh, also known as, and as another Hollywood parody reaction. Yes, it is the annual Hollywood parody, parody time. So last time we reacted to one of these, it was the Supernatural parody two, who, uh, which was done in the style of Ghostbusters, which was really, really hilarious. I really liked it. I liked it. So this time they are now doing Umbrella Academy. Academy. So for those of you who don't know. No, no. Umbrella Academy is a Netflix series that's based off of a comic book. I'm a book series. Next series. And uh, when Hollywood announced this, like, uh, uh, I think it was back in May? Well, months ago. Back when they announced it. They announced it. Uh, I heard about it, but at the time I didn't watch it. So after they announced it, announced it I binge watched the whole series. Whole series. And it's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good series. A good series. And over the times, I've been really curious about this parody. Because. According to some of the posts that they've made, that they made, this is the longest parody. Parody. It also required a lot of editing to do, and to do because the total, the total editing file was about two terabytes, which is a lot for a video. And also, so that they're doing something different, different. So that really intrigued me as to like what could they possibly have done? And then, so I'm really, really intrigued. Uh, unfortunately, unlike the supernatural parody, natural parody, I don't have much. Uh, like, Umbrella Academy stuff. So, I had to improvise with some other other items. Like, we got an umbrella here. Like, this is a regular umbrella. Uh, we also have the zebra one. I'm sorry, neither of them are black. They're black. But they do represent the whole idea. Like, the umbrellas. Uh, we also got a beverage here. Ah, that's good. That's good. And joining me today, as you guys can see... see no, don't turn up. Sorry, this is my laptop this time. Uh, joining me today is my co-host, Baxter Z. Gudgenal. The 48th. 48th, and, uh, okay, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but, uh, uh, yeah, damn it, okay, uh, I'll just move the camera here, as you can see, he is rocking the Umbrella Academy logo, logo, as like a tattoo, tattoo, so that kind of counts, and it counts, so. okay, we'll set him here, he is joining me today, and he's ready to watch this show, watch this show, so I'm really, really looking forward to this, and it's all in all, I'm very curious to see how this is gonna turn out, and turn out, sit. And so I mistook this that it was gonna come out yesterday, yesterday, in case you guys haven't seen the Devil May Cry episode that I did, I did, I thought it was gonna come out yesterday, but then when I double checked, it's actually here today, and this dropped a few minutes ago, so, here we are now! So, like how we did with the last parody, last parody, we're going to play this, hey this, basically, see what they've done, what they've done, react to it, see if we can find some iconic scenes that they might have, might have filmed from the actual show, actual show, and then by the end of it, we'll give our final thoughts. And also, uh, and also, for clarification, clarification, this is all done in one take. No retries, no edits, edits, well, there's one edit, but that is the outro. Outro. Everything else is 100% legit. Legit. No lying. lying. So here we all now. Alright, Baxter, are you ready for this? Yep, he's ready. So, without further ado, let's get started. Ah, oh, I love this intro. Intro, like, uh... Uh, I can't show any of this, but uh, the intro that they have in, like, Hollywood Supporter Family. It's nice. It's a good family. And, of course, some, some iconic parodies. Okay, uh, don't upload it if any fire. I don't want to it yet. Okay. Alright, so, this is all very good. Oh, I'm really curious. Some people are ordinary. Okay. The Hargreaves family. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice! Umbrella Academy parody created by Hilly and Hannah. Number five, member of the Umbrella Academy, has developed an unusual addiction since his return from the apocalypse. Oh, that's sort of fun. Yeah, is his story. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Hilly! Are you here with the documentary? Yeah, all right. Come on in. Would you like a margarita? Oh, that's cool. My name is number five. I'm 58 years of age. And, um, I can't live without my mannequin. Dolores. Ah! <laughs> this sounds about right. Originally, when I first found her, I called her my synthetic girlfriend. Okay. But it's actually a progressive point where it's like, you know, she's my wife. <laughs> she's not awake right now because... That's true. Of, that is true. Well, basically, she kept hitting the snooze button. So, just let her sleep. It's not even worth getting her out of bed at this point. Number five's adoptive father, Sir Reginald Hargreaves, was the founder of the Umbrella Academy. Mm-hmm. He has recently passed away. 
I think, um, I think what my dad would have found difficult about my relationship with Dolores is the fact that she's ordinary. No powers or anything like that. Hmm. He would have seen it as unnatural or illogical. <laughs> and he was the sort of person to whom anything illogical should be avoided. Hmm. So, um, a bit of... Sometimes clashes occurred. Okay. 17 years ago. What? <laughs> I want to time travel. No. Oh, yes, I want a time travel scene. But I'm ready. You know what? You're in time now. Get on top of that fridge. Go on, get up there. <laughs> this house is a fucking <laughs> 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 man did say time travel. What the fuck? <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I haven't told my Okay. <laughs> As a result, Dolores spends 99.9% .9 of her time in my room. Yo. All right. Uh, this is very different so far. Very different so far. Like, woohoo, we have the place to ourselves. Oh. This is probably a good gauge of when I'm happy. Um, being alone, but with her. Uh, this is very different. It's like, uh, most of the parodies instantly start off in, like, the song. This time, this is a whole skit. And it's just something I hope my siblings will understand when they meet her. Hmm. That's why I've chosen to tell my sister Vanya about her first. Vanya! Vanya. Oh, it's Hannah! Is there a part of you that thinks this is peculiar? No. Five. She can't see. And she can't hear. <laughs> One of the most fundamental elements of having an addiction is that it provides relief from pain. What was the cause of pain here? Are the pain? Pain. I would have to say it was caused by loneliness. Hmm. Oh, are we getting into song? Okay. Um. Oh, no, I don't know if I recognize this one. heard of this but I might not know the title of it I don't love it I'm sorry guys um so lonely indeed oh, is this showing love at first sight oh they, like, recreated the whole apocalypse scene. Was this all done in, like, green screen? Green? Green screen? Oh, I'd have to see, I'd have to see, like, the behind the scenes. But I can definitely see of, like, why this took so much editing. I love you. Exactly. Oh. And it doesn't hurt anyone. Exactly. So knock yourself out. Yes. <laughs> I get it. I love that. I think it's time to tell the others. So weird. <laughs> More or less. Hey! Now we're getting into it. This is a sick beat. Wait. Lots of stuff to choose. She wants to make a good impression on the family tonight. This is really nice. Look at this. Oh. She likes sequins. Hmm. I think that'll work. <laughs> the whole family, like, you know, what the fuck? Lawrence is a model. Or was a model. Right, sorry. But she decided to put out the apocalypse so that she could experience the world. Cool, huh? <laughs> She's shy. Well, you are. <laughs> they are just looking at this like, what the shit is happening? Well, it would if you were smarter. Oh. How long have you had her? 30 years. Give or take. 
Ah, 30 years, give or take. So what are you saying? That thing is your girlfriend? No. No. That thing mm. is my wife. My wife! <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, what is this? I'm taking the car. Wait. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Or less. Okay. Uh, this is very different from uh, from the other parodies. Parodies. Wait, how long is this? About 20 minutes, and I think that also includes the credits. Nice improvisation. Ah, the domino mask. Hold down the fort. Hold down the fort. Oh, that's cool! They even did it in the top uh, five time jumps. That's awesome! <laughs> oh god, what is this? Uh, is she yep! <laughs> yep! God, what is this? Uh. Hey! Uh, slow dancing! I kept saying that there should be a scene, uh, like, uh, when they were doing the t when, like, the teasers, like, five should slow dance, and it's with Dolores. I thought that'd be hilarious. And there's actually a small moment of that. <laughs> Oh, and it's cool. It even replicates, like, that scene with Allison and Luther. Well, <laughs> he's drunk as a skunk. The relationship I have with Dolores is for my happiness. And if that's what makes me happy, you know, that's what makes me happy. Okay. So I really see no reason to change. Are we done here? I'm not even sure why this documentary is about me. I'm not the addict. Like, for instance, there's Diego. Wildly obsessed with knives. <laughs> wildly obsessed. That? That shit. <laughs> Just like because knives are my choice of weapon does not mean I'm obsessed with them. You got something to say? Don't get me started on Luther and the moon. The moon. There's only one thing worse than the Academy being destroyed. The moon being destroyed. Moon. No. Yes. I don't care what your question is, but go ahead. I gotta ask, did Banya really blow up the moon? I mean, that thing has got to be a thousand miles away. Uh, 238,900 miles. Is it? Yeah, and the diameter of the moon is 2,158.8 miles, which makes it less than a third <laughs> of the width of the Earth and 81 times lighter than the Earth. And uh, the shut up about the moon. Shut up about the moon! <laughs> Yeah, they are just at the face like, I don't give a shit. And by the way, if Luther and Allison get married, then later get divorced, does that still make them brother and sister? That's the question. But the one with the real problem yes. is Klaus. Ah, Klaus. <laughs> Stop! I could have dropped my coffee. <laughs> Never dropped the coffee. Completely useless. Hi. My name is Klaus. Do you like getting high? I do too. I like getting high as often as possible. Yeah, high as often as possible. Just get that rush. Get that, that fix and keep the yep. peace in it. Because if I'm not going to have it, I'm not going to feel good. And if I'm not going to have it, I'm going to see dead people. Ah. I don't even know, honestly, what kind of drugs I put into my body. Like, I don't okay. care. As long as I'm getting a rush. And as long as I don't see corpses, with the exception of Ben. Ah, Ben. Sorry, man. I'll put it into my body. I am scared. He hasn't talked to anybody. Luther's out looking for him. Apparently, he's stole from Pogo again. Oh my god. Oh, there's Klaus. And once again, being high as a motherfucker. You want to ride home? I want to ride home. I'm even old enough to drive. Well, not funny, Diego. 
it's not. Klaus, where are you going? Get in the van. Do you know what today is? Yes. Klaus, today is Fita Ghost and Green and Donut. We'll talk about that later, but if you don't get out of here, the cops are going to come. If, gonna... if you don't get out of here, I'm going to call the cops myself. If you want to get arrested. Yep, he is high as a motherfucker. Mm. If you want to walk home, I'm picking up my bag. You, know, you, you, you literally give us five seconds to get our shit together. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> you give us five <laughs> seconds to get our shit together. Number four. I have migraine headaches and would like to see my robot mom there. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Why, why are you being arrested? Just being detained. I'm just being detained. You're not under arrest. I'm, I'm just being detained. <laughs> Fives is just like, oh my fucking god. No, so, I'm not gonna quit. I just think this is bullshit. This is some bullshit. Your letter. Hmm? <clears throat> A letter? Dear Klaus. I want to sh Ben's going first. <gasps> Osric! Dear Klaus, I am here today. Uh, it's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. it's hard to understand that the brother I spent years sharing my life with and enjoying so many memories and experiences with has become the person I am confronting today. You've become- Wait, what are they reading? Love. Who's talking? I felt empty, numb, and betrayed when you showed up at my funeral plastered and finally winding up naked in front of the entrance when people walked in and out of the reception. I will not- Okay. This any longer. Please. Will you get help? I needed drugs. I'll just say that. Klaus, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> uh, no puns. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> Klaus. You walked right into that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Even in reality, he's dead. Like, God damn it. Mm. They want me to quit. Fine. I'll quit. That's gonna end in a disaster. I don't think he's gonna quit. Well, kinda. Nope! Oh my god, is this replicating that one scene from The Office? Sure is not you. <laughs> Yep, it's replicating it. Oh my god! Okay, the apocalypse is happening. Everyone... Uh, the apocalypse is happening! Seizure, everyone! Thanks! F***ing calm! <laughs> I love that. Stay fucking calm! Calm down! Everything yep. More or less. More or less. I haven't seen The Office, but I have seen that scene so many times. I just didn't recognize it. Like, oh my god! What makes us family. Hmm. True. Oh my god, is this replicating the house scene? Now uh, uh, hey, nah. ah. Yay! Hey, it's actually funny. Hey, funny. Like, this isn't the same song from that scene. And that scene. But a few days ago on Sunday, I was at a coffee shop. Coffee shop. And after... And after, like, uh, or, like we got our drinks... Uh, Thanks. The song was playing over the radio, and I just, I thought it was just like perfect timing. Oh, we are family. That's just about the perfect tone for the song. Yeah. Hey, oh. hey crab dance. Oh, they're now transitioning over to the next room. Uh, I think Vice is just gonna be like, what the shit is happening down there? Because <laughs> it sounded like his sit uh, was more muffled. Oh, yep. Oh, uh, what? You got no soul, man. So, 
who broke it. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? Now this I have seen. Same from Parks and Recreation. I did it. I broke no, it. No, no, you didn't. no, you didn't. Diego. Diego. Don't look at me. Look at Luther. What? what? I didn't break it. <laughs> That's weird. How do you know it was even broken? <laughs> because it's sitting right in front of us, and it's and it's broken. Suspicious. <laughs> No, it's not. If it Suspicious. matters, Allison was the last one to use it. Luther, I don't even use that piece of crap. Oh, mm, I don't even use it. I use the wooden stirs to prospect my cuticles. Everybody knows that, Luther. Okay, okay, let's not... Uh, these are clearly cultured people. I like it. No. No. Who broke it? The fire's breaking. Class, what'd you say? Bye. Ben has been awfully quiet. Uh, really? <laughs> really? Oh, you can't do anything wrong, Ben. Let me guess. Five's broken. <laughs> Eh. Ron Swanson. Whoa, and Pogo's head on a stick. Good. It was getting a little chummy around here. <laughs> uh, good old Ron Swanson. Oh! That was actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very, very different from the usual parodies. Usual parodies I've seen in the past. So that's definitely something that's that's usually different. Really different. Because in the past, what they've done is that like they've taken a popular song. Like for instance, with the Supernatural parody, it was originally Ghostbusters, but they like changed the tune and replaced the lyrics. It's the lyrics with like lyrics that are very similar to so, like like either references or or like something that's close enough to. And not with like supernatural, very natural. And in this case, in this case, it was very, very different, very different, different. And like they did add the few song moments, but rather than having them like like burst out into singing dance, singing dance, this was mainly, this is mainly more of a theatrical moment, like the whole documentary thing, anything. And I'm not just realizing it until now, but the camera angles, the way how it works, is definitely like The Office and Parks and Recreation, which is really, really cool, very really cool. I always found that camera style kind of unique. Meek. So this was definitely something really different, really different from what they usually done, usually done. But uh, all in all, I'm not disappointed. I actually thought that was pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, so <laughs> these people deserve Oscars. They deserve Oscars because that was very well done, very well done. And they did add a couple of iconic moments that I can't show any of this, any of this unless I like turn the camera. But I'm not gonna do that. But they did have a few iconic kind of moments. Onic moments like the apocalypse background, background just with like seeing this, uh, seeing it of like the rubble in the background, background I thought it was really cool, really cool. I don't know if it's like green screen or well maybe it's part green screen and they actually like maybe went to a location that had like all this destroyed stuff and then just used like it's like it's like video magic to like movie magic to make it what it was, make it for the final product, and it's so it's really creative of how they came up. And I came up with this. This. I also love it of how they got Dolores. Uh, they got Dolores to look exactly like she does on the show. And as well as another scene of like, uh, like when Luther asked like, how long has she been in your girl? How long has she been with you? And Fives is like, 30 years. 30 years. It's actually a reference uh, to the first episode when Fives came back and they asked like, it's like, how long were you gone? 45 years? Give or take. Mm. Give or take. And of course, the iconic house dance scene. And scene, which I thought was just really, really awesome. Really awesome. 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 So, all in all, this was really, really well done. Really, really well done. And I thought that was really, really cool. Really, really cool. Cool. So, Hollywood Girls, you did an amazing job. Amazing job. Keep up the awesome work. And work. And these parodies, it's not just with this parody, but all of their parodies in general are really, really unique. Really unique. Like, they have their own styles, their own... On like different references, references like, and they can also do different impacts. Impacts like when I watched the Sherlock parody for the first time, it actually made me binge watch, binge watch the whole series, and I really, really liked it. And I liked it, and with, and when they announced that they were doing this parody, at first I didn't watch Umbrella Academy, but when they announced that they were doing this one, this one, I thought that like, why not? Let's give it a try. So all in all, I thought this was really, really cool, really cool. Again, it was unique. From what they were originally, and from they use that they would usually do, but in the end, this came out yeah, as a pretty cool result. 
And he's all, and pretty creative. Pretty creative. So I wonder if they'll do it again, again for like the next parody. Next parody. And back on, I got on, on sort of like doing impact. Impact some people. And some people. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? Since mainly our channel, since mainly this channel is about like with Lego stuff, I'm gonna do a Lego showcase of. Uh, revolving around Umbrella Academy. It probably won't come out until next year, but after seeing this, I now want to do it. I want to do it, and it's really, really cool. Really cool. Plus, all in all, all, in all you can't have a Parks and Recreation scene and scene without Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson. So, anyways, anyways, if you guys want to check out this parody, as well as some of the other, other phenom... Eh, phenom <laughs> I'm sorry. The other fabulous parodies that they've done, like, um, like Sherlock, Suicide Squad, Supernatural, or Natural... <coughs> sorry, I'm talking too much. If you want to check out all those parodies, I'll include a link to their channel in the description below. Also, support these girls. Support these girls. They have a Patreon, Patreon, and everything. So go show them some love. I let them work really, really hard on this. And all in all, all in all, really well done. Well done. Uh, anyways, anyways, if you guys would like to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Your bell helps us work on less ways, like go projects, and we're mailing out some fun. Fun. All right, Baxter. Baxter. I guess we better call it a day. So for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, comment below what you think, share it with your friends, subscribe to YouTube, follow me on Twitch. And here's a half of the road. Ow! Woo! Thank you guys, and we'll see you next time. When the ice moon rises!